Hi, this is Karen. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. We're going to start our practice by standing up tall at the top of your mat and just finding a nice rooted stance down through the feet. Standing nice and tall and grounding all four corners of your feet down into the floor. Draw the shoulders back. And then just settle into your breath. Settle into just that length all the way up through the spine, through the crown of the head. Taking another deep breath just to bring ourselves fully here, fully present. really establishing that connection to your center so you can keep that connection as we start to move and so grounding the feet take a big inhale and stretch your arms up lengthen get tall exhale and just draw the arms down and float down by your sides take another big inhale Finding some length through the torso, maybe gazing upwards. Exhale. Two release. Inhale, one more. Arms up. Biggest breath yet, and exhale. Relax the arms down. Good. And just bringing hands to your hips. Take a step back here with your right foot. Sure your heels are aligned and your back foot in about 45 degrees, moving into warrior one, getting nice and rooted down through the feet. Doesn't need to be a huge wide step. Take an inhale breath and raise your arms up. Take a couple deep breaths here, really rooting down through your back foot. Slightly lifting up through your chest. And draw the shoulder blades back and down. Good, and releasing the hands, turning to the other side, pivoting your right foot forward, back foot in, take a big breath, inhale, and bend your right knee. And keeping the hip square, keeping your left hip forward. Really grounding back into your heel as you open and just lift up through your chest. Activating the legs, activating the feet. And then straightening your right leg. Turning to center, take a deep breath. Pull your belly in and exhale. Lengthen your spine all the way down towards the floor. Bring your hands down on the floor. Inhale, really lengthen out your spine, fingertips to floor. Exhale and just release, just relax your head, neck down. You can bend the knees a little bit here. Moving around a little bit just to feel that nice length through your back here. Relaxing head and neck down towards the ground. And straightening the legs, grounding through the feet. Inhale, come back up, arms to T. Good, pivot through your left foot again. Square off through your hips. Inhale, raise your arms up, warrior one again. Maybe bending a little bit deeper into that front leg. Rooting, grounding back through your back heel. Take a big inhale, filling up, and exhale, open up to warrior two. You might adjust your step a little bit wider here for warrior two. Looking out over your left fingertips, really keeping your shoulders down and back. You might turn your palms up, feeling your shoulders drop, and then turn them back over and reach and extend through your fingertips as you sink down into the hips. Nice and rooted through your feet. Good. Inhale. Come up. Good, let's turn pivot to the other side. Maybe heel toe the back foot in again, a couple of inches, inhale. Warrior one, big strong grounded posture through the feet, kind of using your breath here. Keeping that connection to the center line of your body. And 
maintaining that connection to breath, shoulders relaxed. And then opening up warrior two, a slightly bigger step, sinking down a little bit deeper, down into the hips here. Eventually you've got this 90 degree angle with your knee over your ankle. Just go as far as you can, keeping that nice rootedness through the feet, breath, still moving through your body. And straighten through your right leg. Turn your right toes in, open up through your chest. Exhale, come on down, nice straight spine. Then hands down to the ground, and then reach and grab for your big toes. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, gently pull with your hands, lengthening your spine. Again, you can bend the knees if you need to, as you feel that length through your lower back or starting to straighten the legs, really lift up through your kneecaps. Use your biceps to pull, keep your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Good, and slowly come back up, inhale, back up to center. Good, turn your left toes out again. Bring the back foot in a couple of inches, inhale, warrior one. Feeling a little bit of heat building in your body here, keeping that connection to your breath. Opening it up, warrior two your step a little bit wider, sinking down a little bit lower. Straightening the leg for a moment. Exhale, bend the knees, sit down. And then bring your right hand to your right thigh. Reversing, lengthening up through your left side body. And then bringing left elbow to your thigh. Stretch through your right arm, extended side angle. Really feel that nice length all the way from your fingertips through the outer edge of your right foot, slightly gazing up. Good, and come up, arms to a T. Good, and let's pivot to the other side. Right toes out, heel toe the back foot in slightly, if you like, inhale. Warrior one. Feeling the hips here, starting to warm up, loosen up, deep breathing. And gazing up. Opening up warrior two. Line up your heels, big wide stance. Good, straighten the right leg just for a moment. Exhale, sit lower. Reverse your warrior, left hand to left thigh. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, extended side angle, lengthening through the left side of the body, grounding the outer edge of the feet. And released. Come up and turn your right foot in. Opening up through your chest, suck the stomach in as you come down, feel all that length through your back, your lower spine coming down. And then this time reaching to grab for the back of your legs, maybe the back of your ankles. If you have the flexibility, you can reach for the heels. Either way, just getting a grip so that you can start to pull and stretch down, bending your knees is fine, lengthen through your breath. Good, and inhale to come up, arms to a T. Good, step your right foot back to your left. And release, let the arms float down by your side, nice. Good. 
Turn face forward, feet together. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Bend your finger back, bring your hands down towards the ground. Bend your knees here if you need to. Lengthen down through your spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to shins or to your upper thighs. Exhale and soften, bring you back down towards the ground. Step your left foot back and come into high lunge position. Drawing your heart upwards, keeping your back foot, the ball of your foot pressed into the ground. Deep breath. hands and step your right foot back to the left. High plank. Pull your lower belly in. Bring your knees down towards the floor, tops of the feet flat. Keep the elbows close as you exhale. Chin and chest. Inhale. Push through the hands, inhale. Cobra, low cobra, activating your low back. Exhale, pressing through the hands, through hands and knees, tuck the toes, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. And you're gonna walk the heels, right and left, right and left. Or bend both knees, press into the knuckles, feel that nice length through your back. Look forward, inhale, step your left foot forward, high lunge, coming onto the fingertips, pressing into the ball of your right foot. Deep breaths here. If you need to, you can always come down onto the knee, top of the foot flat. Take a variation that works for you. Make sure you can breathe, stay connected to your breath. And then step your right foot back to the left. Just let yourself hang down for a moment. Relax your head and neck, maybe shaking through the head a little bit. Release any tension there. Ground through your feet. Inhale to rise up, bend the knees, pull your lower belly in, come up. Look up, lengthen, get tall. Exhale, bring your hands down through your heart center. Relax your arms down. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Floating the hands down towards the ground. Relax your neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back. Good. So same high lunge position, and this time working your hands to your hips. Really take your time to stay centered. You can bend that knee if you need to. Or you can keep that back leg straight, pressing into the ball of the foot. Option to bring the arms up, opening up through your chest. And release, hands down. Nice, and step right foot back. Really pulling in through your belly, lifting up through your back, through your back body. Option to come down onto the knees, or as you exhale, lowering down, elbows in close. Inhale, pressing, lifting to no cobra. And pressing back through hands and knees. Tuck the toes. Lift your hips up. And take a nice long deep breath here. Use this downward dog as a resting pose. 
Relaxing your head and neck, gazing towards your navel. Look forward, step your left foot forward. Staying on the ball of your right foot. Nice and slow, hands to hips first, just to stabilize, really feel that connection through your center as you find a nice high lunge. And option to bring the arms up. The leg is straight, really pressing into the ball of your foot. Keeping the hip square, drawing your left hip back. And release hands down. And step your right foot back to your left. Relax. So ground the feet. Inhale, lift the arms up high. Exhale, hands down through the heart center. Relax the arms down. Shoulders back, just feel that nice tallness through your spine. Slightly tuck the tailbone under, belly tight. Rooted through the feet. Good, inhale, bring the arms up. Get tall, exhale, swan dive the knees as much as you need to, just softening down towards the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Step your left foot back. Stabilize. Nice high lunge. And taking a twist here, bringing your left hand down on the floor, on the inside of the foot. Inhale and stretch. Reach your right arm. And breathe, gazing up towards the ceiling. And that nice rotation through the chest, through the ribcage. Exhale, release. Step your right foot back. High plank. Inhale, come down, either coming onto the knees or coming down in a plank position. Elbows close. Inhale, low cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips. Take your deepest breath yet. Inhale, look forward, step your left foot forward. High lunge. And then bring your right hand down, inhale. And reach, extend your left fingertips up. Keeping your lower belly in. Really feeling rooted through your feet. And feel nice liftedness through your chest, your torso. And release. Hands down. Step back, right to meet the left. And just relax. Head down, the knees, create a little support for your body here. Lift the legs. Reach back, clasp the hands. And just feel that nice stretch to your shoulders for a moment here, letting the hands and settle down closer to the floor as you feel that stretch through your shoulders. And releasing your hands down, lift the feet. Inhale, arms up. And release. And relax your arms down. Very nice. And turn face forward so you're on the left side of your mat. And then inhale, bring your arms up overhead. 
And take a big step to the right, bring your arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your right toes out, turn your back foot in, lining up the heels. Take a deep breath, bend your right knee, coming down low again, just like we were in Warrior Two. This time, turn your palms, open your chest, and move the arms. And bring the arms straight up and down. If you need to, you can lean your elbow against the knee, otherwise bringing the elbow right in front of the knee to really anchor the feet and then stretch your arms in two directions, chin to shoulder, deep breath, look up, stretch apart, and come up, and keeping the legs straight, heel toe the back foot in a couple times, good, send your hips out to the left, reach and extend through your right fingertips, pull your lower belly in, keep all that length through your torso, and just rotate your arms straight up and down, and stretch your arms apart, opposite directions. Inhale to come up, stretch up through the fingertips, Turn your toes in, open your chest. Exhale, come down. And again, reaching around to clasp your hands behind you. Inhale. And exhale, lengthen down towards the ground. And inhale to come up. Stretching and using your arms to come up. Turn your left toes out, your right toes in. Make sure your heels are lined up. Bring the arms out to T. Take a deep breath. Bend your left knee. Bounce a couple times. You're sitting down. Nice and low in your hips. Open your chest. Turn your palms and just rotate the arms. Lean your arm, elbow if you need to. Otherwise, elbow against the knee. Use your elbow to continually press against your left knee. Aiming your fingertips in between big and second toe. And look up, chin to shoulder, and stretch apart two directions. Root down through your right leg, right foot, stretch up. And come up. Good, heel toeing, back foot in. A couple times, heel still aligned. Send your hips out to the right. Extend as far as you can through your left fingertips. Keep all that length and just move the arms straight up and down. Don't lose the engagement through your lower abdomen. Look up, stretch up. Steadying your breath. Ground the feet to come up. Arms out to a T. Turn your left foot in. Step back, arms overhead, and release. Arms down by your side. Make a nice stand tall. Shoulders back, root through the feet. And inhale, bring the arms up overhead, palms together. Crush your thumbs, so prayer position, thumbs crossed. Keep your arms straight with your ears and step to the right, three feet. Shorter step and pivot, face the right with your right foot forward and your back foot in 45 degrees line up your heels inhale stretch up exhale tuck your chin and round your spine and aim your forehead and your knee to touch you can separate your hands for balance bend your right knee as much as you need to Tucking the chin so the throat feels choked, working into your throat, your thyroid, your parathyroid gland here. Pressing away with your hands so you feel that rounding through your back. Press your knee back with your forehead. Bring your hands together. Thumbs crossed. Slowly round up, see if you can round up just as slowly. Bringing your chin up less. Good, let your arms just float down, reach behind you and wrap your elbows. Take an inhale breath. 
exhale, this time come down with a flat back. Keeping the hip square, just stopping where you need to when you feel that nice engagement of stretch through your hips. And just staying. And as you breathe, and you're feeling yourself lengthening down, so eventually lying yourself flat against your leg this time. Eventually the head and neck can relax. Good, and inhale, come up. Good, and this time, taking the twist, bring your hands to your hips. Take an inhale breath. Exhale again, hinge from your hips. This time, bring your left hand down on the ground. You can keep your right hand on your hip and take a twist, looking, gazing over your right shoulder. Working to square the hips, so the right hip back. If you'd like, you can reach your right arm up. Pull your lower belly and feel all that length and extension through your torso, ground through your back heel, and release. Good. And bring your hands to your hips to come up. And pivot all the way to the other side. Ground your back heel. Release your arms, inhale, bring your arms up overhead, palms together, cross your thumbs only, so the elbows stay straight, close to your ears, keep the two hips square, you can bump that right foot forward a couple times to square off, inhale, lengthen, stretch up, exhale, tuck the chin again, exhale and round yourself all the way down, separating the hands. Bringing the forehead to the knee. Shifting your right hip forward, your left hip back to keep the hip square and pressing away into the floor. So you feel that nice rounding in the spine. Your throat feels a little bit choked here. You're still breathing normally. And then ground the heel. Bring the hands together to round your way back up. Lengthen slow. Chin comes up last. And then just release your arms and reach back, wrap your elbows. Inhale, lengthen your spine, pull your belly in. Hips stay square as you exhale. Come down with a nice flat back this time. Feel the difference with your spine, nice and straight. Beginning to just lay the body right down on the legs, but just come to wherever you can, engaging the stretch while you can still breathe in and out through the nose, grounding both feet into the floor as you eventually just relax your head and your neck all the way down. And then ground the feet to come up, lengthen slow. Stay connected, move as slowly as you need to when you're back up center. Taking an inhale breath. Exhale, coming down, hands to hips. And then bringing the right hand down, keeping your left hand on your hip here, and just, just gazing upwards already creates the twist. So find a position for you you're finding the twist without strain, and you can still breathe in and out. You might lift your left arm up, if that's okay, and feeling that nice length through the torso as you align through your hips, pull your lower belly in, inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Hands down, and then hands to hips. Inhale, lengthen, come up. Good, turn, face forward. Step your right foot back, arms overhead. And release, relax your arms down by your side. Good, and staying center, facing forward, feet together for Eagle Pose, Garawasana. 
Feet together, inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left, cross at your elbows, either grab for your wrist, grab for your thumb, or bring your palms close together in front of you. Take a deep breath. Exhale and sit nice and low in your hips. Arch your upper body back. And bring your right leg up and over your left. Cross and twist your legs like ropes. And just squeeze at the knees or eventually aim your foot behind your calf muscle to anchor your foot there. And then work to bend your left knee and sink down lower in your hips. Pull your lower belly in. Pull down through your elbows. Feel that stretch through your upper back. Sit down lower, lean your upper body back. And chin to come up. Inhale, your hands up. Swing your left under your right, cross at your elbows, your wrists, find your grip. You're grabbing the wrist or your thumb or bring the hands together. Take a deep breath. Exhale, sit nice and low in your hips. Arch your upper body back. Bring your left leg high up and over your right, cross and twist your legs like ropes, squeeze the legs, aim your foot towards your calf. Exhale, bend your right knee. And keeping the hips nice and square, bend the knee, pull the elbows down and arch your upper body back, feeling that arch all the way through your spine. Belly tight, sit lower, squeeze tighter. Change, come up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, release the arms. Stand tall, let all that fresh blood just rush through you now. Standing up, nice and tall, grounded through the feet. And turn, face forward. Feet together and bring your right arm out, your palm up for standing bow, pulling posture. Drop your right arm down, grab the foot from the inside. Five fingers together, a couple inches below your toes. And reach your left arm all the way up. Stand nice and tall. You might just stay here, work your balance first, your foundation. Or if you're feeling strong, stable, stretch up. And start to kick your right foot into your hand, away from your body, and up. So you're feeling a nice backward bend through your spine as you stretch your right shoulder back. Feel the right hip stretching open. You can start to tip forward as you stretch forward. Kicking back, reaching forward, body down, stretch forward, kick. And release. And relax. Bring the left arm out, your palm up, drop your hand, grab the foot from the inside. Deep. Knees together and reach, stretch, right arm up. The shoulder stays close to the chin. Left shoulder stretches back right from the beginning. Stay here or stretch up. And kick that foot into the hand. Kick the knees straight back behind you, point your toes. Keep your right fingertips stretching forward, so kicking and stretching feel equal and simultaneous, creating a backward bend, finding balance. Body down, stretch forward, keep kicking, kick up, and release, and relax. Right arm down, good work. Heart rate is up, let's keep it up by stepping all the way back for balancing stick, Tula Dandasana. Feet together. Inhale, bring the arms up. Again, palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers. Cross your thumbs. Lift up through your chest. Step forward on your right foot. A big step. Point your left toes. And pivot your chest down and your left leg up. Capital letter T from the side. Every muscle is contracted. Arms with your ears, stretch forward, stretch back, point toes, stretch reach, and change. Come up, step back, 
Keep the arms up, lift your chest. Step forward left. Big step, point your right. And pivot. See if you can come down in a straight line. It might mean just coming down a couple of inches. Eventually working the chest down, parallel with the floor. Pointing through the toes and stretching your spine in two directions. Reach forward, stretch back, stretch, reach. And change, come up. And let the arms relax, float down. Deep breath. And slowing things down here with tree pose. Coming back center, feet together. And keeping your left leg strong. Reach down, pick up your right foot from underneath. Bring your foot up high on your thigh. And then slowly and gently let your right knee drop. You can stay here, pressing down through your right knee, just gently with your right hand or bring the hands up one at a time. Eventually palms together, namaskar. If this is too much rotation through your knee, you can always come to more traditional tree with your foot pressed against your upper thigh or maybe down lower. Just make sure you're not pressing right against your knee joint, creating this rotation of your hip. Hips forward, upper body back. And change right leg down. And then rooting through your right foot. Pick up your left foot from underneath. Bring your foot up high or take your variation. If you're grabbing the foot, grab from underneath so you can keep your right shoulder back. Opening through your hips. Left hand. Eventually right. If the foot is slipping, just continue to hold the foot. Let gravity create the stretch down. Bring the two knees into one line. The hands are up, starting to lengthen up through the spine, feeling the crown of the head. Lengthen up as you root down through your right foot. Elbows in close, shoulders relax. And release. Good, left leg down. Very nice work. Turn around and lie down on your back and just extend your legs out in front of you and relax your arms down by your sides. Take a couple of breaths here on the ground, letting your breath stabilize and really feeling all those points of contact with your body against the ground, letting the ground completely hold you for a moment so that you can settle down into your body down into your breath letting the heart rate slow letting all that fresh blood all that energy that you activated just circulate now for a moment from head to toe Aided by your respiratory system as you breathe in and out, let your belly just rise and fall. Deep breath. Good, and then lift your right leg up and interlock all 10 fingers right below your kneecaps. You've got a nice grip. And pull your right knee outside and then down and in. So you're avoiding your rib cage, creating a nice sensation of stretch through your right hip joint. Slightly tuck the chin in. If your left calf muscles coming up, you can flex your left foot. Otherwise, keep the left foot relaxed. Breathe, exhale, pull. And release. Straight leg down. Lift your left leg and relax your fingers. And pull your left knee outside and then down and in. So you're avoiding your rib cage, keeping the elbows in. Tuck your chin into your chest. Breathing into left hip joint here, creating that compression, temporarily cutting off 
Blood supplies to when you release that fresh blood can rush back in. Full inhale and release. And then palms down, lift both legs at the same time. Reach around, grab opposite elbows and pull your knees into your chest. And slightly tuck the chin so the whole spine here lengthening as you pull the knees in relax your feet uncross side by side press down through your lower body your lower back exhale pull forward and release and relax your legs out in front of you let the blood recirculate through your hips all the way down through your feet. And then walk your heels in close to your hips for our figure four, stretching again through the hips. Bring your right foot against your left leg thigh and then bring your left foot up off the floor and thread your right hand through underneath grab for the back of your left leg and pull keep your right foot flexed activated as you pull your knee in take a couple of deep breaths here feeling that opening Deep supported stretch here for your hip. Pull and hold. And release. And switch sides. Right foot down. Bring your left foot up. Activate through your left foot. Lift your right foot off the floor. Thread your left arm underneath and through. Grab the back of the leg or knee. If you have the flexibility, you can grab for your knee here. Either way. And pull. Slightly tuck the chin. And see if you can even out your breath here. And with your exhale, see if you can release any of that tension through your left hip. Feeling that nice stretch, pull, hold, and release. And just relax both feet. Stretch them out forward, let the feet just relax open. And bringing the feet together, flex your feet, stretching your arms up overhead, really lengthen the body out. Pull your lower belly in, reach your fingertips toward your toes, look at your toes, activate lower belly and round your way up. Rolling up to grab for the toes, pull. Go ahead and turn around, lay down on your belly. Fingertips right underneath your shoulders. Elbows in close to the body. Press your feet down into the floor. Really activate through the legs here. And inhale. Look up and lift up. Not a lot of weight in the hands. Really activating through your lower back. So lift your chest up. Pressing down through your feet. Inhale. Lengthen and look up. Lift up one inch more. And slowly come down, bringing the chin down. And then extend the arms out to a T to either side with your palms down, fingers together, chin forward, legs together, feet together. Inhale, start to look up and lift up. Arms, head, legs, this time off the floor. Pressing your heels together, keeping the legs straight. And see if you can activate through your middle back here as you lift and draw the shoulder blades together. Look up towards the ceiling, lift up, 
and then exhale, come down. And then relax your chin down, reach behind you and grab for your fingers. So interlocking your hands behind your back. Pressing the legs down into the floor. The legs can come apart a little bit here. Stretch and extend back through your hands. Keeping the arms stretching straight back. Inhale, look up. And lift up. And draw your hands back behind you. And feel that stretch through your chest, activating through your upper spine. Press your arms back, press your feet into the floor. Inhale, look up, stretch up. And release, good, come down. Bring your hands to either side of you and press yourself up. And come back, child's pose, just extending, stretching your hips down towards your heels. You can open the knees here if you'd like, taking a wider stretch through your hips. So the knees are about hip width or about mat width apart and then stretch your arms forward and take a couple of long deep breaths here. Really enjoy all that length now for your back after those backward bends. Come up onto hands and knees. Nice neutral spine. Tuck the toes and lift your hips up, downward facing dog. And walk your heels a couple times. Should feel really good here. Feel all that spaciousness that you've created in your body here through your practice. Letting the head and neck relax. And then coming down onto your knees, tops of the feet down on the floor. And just slowly walk your hands towards your knees. And then walk your hands up your thighs and bring them back around to support your lower back. So your fingers are down. Like your hands are in your back pockets. You can separate the knees hip width distance or a little wider. Nice support here for the hips, support for your back with your hands pressed into the lower back here. Camel pose, taking this big backward bend supported on the ground. Inhale, lift up through your chest and keeping that lift in your chest, start to press your hips your stomach and your legs forward, chest stays lifted, and then just relax your head. And even just looking up and working to relax your neck back, you're getting all the benefits of this big backward bend. Really lifting through the chest, pressing the hips. If you have a lot of flexibility, you want to move deeper, you can bring your hands down to your heels, getting a nice Full palm grip on your heels, simultaneously pressing forward through your hips and up through your chest. Walk your eye gaze back behind you, look back further, and slowly come up. Bring your hands to your hips, come back up, slowly bring your head up last. Good, and just sit down on your Heels for a moment, knees together, feet together. And just sit on your heels and take a nice resting breath with your hands on your knees, sitting up nice and tall. Feel all that length through your back. Good, and then moving into rabbit sasangasana, so stretching the spine in the opposite direction. Reach around and grab for your heels again. So the thumbs are on the outside of your heels, creating that full palm grip eventually on heels. 
Tuck in the chin into the chest. Look at your chest. Pull your belly towards your spine and then curl down nice and slow. Reaching the hands on the heels. If you can't bring your hands on your heels, you can just support yourself here in the rounded spine, eventually bringing your forehead to your knees. If you've got a grip on your heels, your forehead and your knees are touching, the top of the head comes down to the floor, then you can lift up through your hips, pull on your heels, and create the stretch through the whole back of your spine. Not a lot of weight in the head here. The strength is in your grip. And as you pull your belly in, feel that stretch all the way through your spine to your lower back. Pull and roll forward, lift your hips, and slowly lower down, hips to your heels, and then round your way up, vertebrae by vertebrae, and your head comes up last. Very nice. And then turn around, lie down on your back, and just relax for a moment here. Savasana, extending your legs, let your arms Relax down. And relax into the ground. Exhale, soften. Bring the feet together. Ground your heels, flex your feet, stretch the arms overhead, lengthen. And bring your hands towards your toes. Pull your belly in. And roll your way up. Crack your toes. Turn all the way around. Face forward the front of the mat and bring your right leg out and your left foot in. So your legs are at a 90 degree angle. And inhale, bring the arms up. Interlock your fingers, turn to the right and round yourself down. You can bend the knee as much as you need to to grab the ball of your foot. Pull and flex your foot and use your forehead to start to press your right knee down. Left elbow down, keeping the shoulders square. Kick through your heel, flex your foot. And release, come up and switch. Left leg out, right foot in. Inhale the arms up. Interlocking your fingers, turn to the left, tuck the chin, and round. So you're rounding just like the posture we did before. Rabbit pose, grabbing for the ball of your foot. Bend your knee if you need to, so your forehead and your knee will touch. And then pull and flex, and eventually start to use your forehead to press down through the knee. And one day that leg will straighten. Right elbow, right shoulder down. Kick through your heel, flex your foot. And change, release, and bring both legs out in front of you. Roll your way down, pull your belly in. Lengthen and stretch, lengthen through your fingertips. Stretch towards your toes, activate core strength, and roll your way up and grab for your big toes. And then walk your hips back a couple times, right and left, right and left. And then inhale and lengthen your spine. You can bend your knees here to tilt your pelvis forward, lengthen your low back. And then exhale, pull and stretch forward towards your toes. So legs here stay active, flexing your toes back, kicking through your heels, starting to press down, back to the knees and to the floor. So you feel that length through your whole back body as you inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, Pull and stretch forward towards your toes. And then come up. Go ahead and bend your left knee. Point your left knee forward and bring your right foot up and over. You can always keep your left leg straight as well. Otherwise, pointing it back towards the wall with your hips on the ground. The right hand behind your back like a kickstand. Left arm stretch up. And over and against the knee. Rounding for your knee if you have the flexibility. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, look over your right shoulder and twist your spine one last time. Looking way over the shoulder, chin over the shoulder, look back, twist. And release and twist. 
Switch sides, either bend your right knee or keep your right leg straight. Left foot up and over. Try to keep your hips nice and flat on the ground. Left hand behind the right arm, reach up. And over against the knee, grab for your knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, look over your left shoulder, chin over your shoulder. Full spine twisting all the way up to your neck. Look back further and twist. And change, good, untwist. And just cross your legs here. And then shift forward onto hands and knees. Tuck the toes under and lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Coming into our last posture here of pigeon pose. Inhale. Lift up through your right leg, point your toes, and bring your right knee towards your right wrist. And then settle down onto the hips using a mat or a pillow or a towel if you need to underneath your right hip so that your two hips can feel square. If this is too much coming back again into that figure four posture we did earlier on your back. Creating a similar stretching open through the hips. And you can stay seated upright or come down onto your forearms. And just move slowly, taking a few deep breaths in the pose, creating this final deep stretch for your hips. Relaxing down towards the ground, letting your breath soften. Feeling into some of that spaciousness you created in your hips when you practice the spaciousness of your breath. Feeling the support of the ground underneath you. And then walking your hands back up very slow. Take your time here. Lead in downward facing dog, taking your time to release your right knee, coming up onto hands and knees. Sending the hips up. Downward dog, then lifting your left leg, point your toes, and bring your left knee towards your left wrist. Take any adjustment that you need to. If you're on your back, just taking that figure four on the left side. Staying seated upright, feeling that nice stretch through the hips or coming down into your forearms. Finding some quiet in your pose here, finding some quiet in your mind as you synchronize your breath. To this posture of releasing through the hips, settling and sinking down towards the ground. And it's embracing this posture of surrender, surrendering any tension or stress or worry. Letting yourself rest. Feeling the support of the ground underneath you, even if the stretch is intense. And then slowly coming back up. Take your time to come to hands and knees. And then to lift your hips up, one final downward facing dog. Stepping your feet forward. And then turn around and lie down on your back. And take a minute here in Savasana to let yourself settle and let your eyes close, feeling all the benefits 
of your practice today. I'm letting some of that energy just move through your body now. Head to toe, letting anything relax and release that you're able. Feeling that sense of deep relaxation spread through your body. As you smooth out, as you even out your breath. And taking as much time as you need here. If you're ready to close your practice, turning on to one side, coming into fetal position for a moment, just to transition up to seated to end our practice. And then using your hand to push yourself up Maybe taking just a moment to sit cross-legged to feel into all this nice spaciousness, all this nice length through your spine. And bringing your hands to your heart center in acknowledgement of yourself and your practice today. Sending yourself some deep appreciation and gratitude, some self-love. Closing your practice. And the light inside of me honors and acknowledges the light inside of each of you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.